Good morning, everyone, and welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, the Little International Livestock Show is the largest student-sponsored event on NDSU's campus, and it all kicks off this weekend. We have Lily, Kel, and Casey from NDSU Saddle and Sirloin Club here to share more. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yes, well, I said a little bit about what Little International is, but can you fill us in on the details? Um, yeah, so... NDSU is a little light. It's the longest running tradition at NDSU. Mm -hmm. um, it's all student ran. Um, and this year is the 98th Little Eye, so it's been going on. This is the 98th time, I guess. So, And it's a livestock showing contest. So we have um, sheep, swine, um, a beef and dairy, and then there's also goats this year. Um, and we also have a ham curing. And last night was our public speaking contest. So. Exciting, how did that go? Really good. Uh, we had six individuals that gave speeches. They give a speech that goes three to five minutes long. We have six judges that come into and judges contest, and then we pick one winner. And this year, our winners from Lamore, North Dakota, Rose Wendell. Exciting, well, congratulations to her. And speaking of congratulations, I see some sashes and crowns. What does that really mean? So this year I'm serving as a 98th Little International Queen, and then I have two princesses, Lily Bina and then Madeline Guzicki as well. Exciting. So what do you have to do to that to be crowned? Yeah, so we go through an interview process. So we get nominated by our club, and then we go through an interview process. We get interviewed by a panel of judges, and then we also give another speech to our members of our club. And like Kel said earlier, we are one of the largest organizations on campus, so there's lots of people that you're giving your interview to and your speech to, and then... Uh, we ask, they ask us questions, and then they do a voting process, and so we ended up, us three are the ones that got the title. Exciting. Well, congratulations to both of you. So I know that everything has kind of already kicked off, but you guys are having a banquet on Friday, correct? Yep, yep. next Friday. Okay. So how does that really work? Uh, so... On Friday, we have a uh, banquet that really honors our agriculturist of the year, Larry Schnell from Dickinson, North Dakota, and we gives our opportunity for our members to actually like relax and dress up a little bit, have some fun before mm -hmm. the big day. So we're having our banquet this year at the Avalon Center, and Larry's gonna get honored for agriculture. So the year we have a couple speeches planned. Rose Wendell will give her speech at this in her, or at our banquet as well and some awards will be given out too. Exciting. Well that sounds like a lot of fun. So I know this has been going on for 98 years. Mm -hmm. How has this event really evolved and changed over the years? Um, I think from the start I guess it started in the 20s and so it's kind of just a way for um, kids that like were from rural North Dakota that came to Fargo for a way to kind of get back with like and just kind of where they farm and like get back to showing livestock, and even though they're in town. And I think it's kind of still how it is today mm -hmm. at NDSU, because it's like a lot of us in the club are, have a passion for agriculture, and so it's a way for us to, even though we like live in Fargo and are on in, um, f campus all the time, it's just a way for us to get back kind of to our roots and just mm -hmm. work with the animals and stuff, so. Yeah, I love that. So for each of you, what are you most looking forward to for this year's event? Um, I'm looking forward to the beginning of the Little International Night Show. The energy right before it, it's just like the anticipation and everyone's so excited. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking forward to like to have like all my friends and family there and everything because it's mm -hmm. like my dad was a manager and my cousin was also a little eye manager. So it's kind of a family thing. It's kind of a way for all my family to come and I don't know, I just, I'm just excited to see all this hard work we've put in to kind of come to light. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of with Kel as well about our family coming. This year will be my family's 18th Little International coming since I'm the youngest of five. I'm also wow. very excited to see all of our members hard work pay off. Um, our members have put a lot of time and dedication either anywhere for a month to two weeks with their animals, behind the scenes work from our committee chairs. So I'm really excited to see all that hard work pay off. Yeah, absolutely. So who do you really recommend to come to this? Um, I would say anyone in the Fargo community. Yeah. I mean, it's just a way to like uh, for advocate for agriculture and then also it's kind of and you can show off kind of it's kind of showcase especially for the animal science department mm -hmm. um, but I think anyone it's just a fun event especially if kids and stuff there's a lot of livestock and it's a fun way to get people involved in um, Shepherd Arena it's kind of just a different atmosphere when we get it can we put streamers everywhere and mm -hmm. all across the ceiling and I think it's just kind of a fun atmosphere for, I think anyone in the community should come yeah, absolutely. So how can folks at home find out more information about Little Eye and then also the Saddle and Sirloin Club? Yeah, so the, a lot of the information is on our Facebook page, the NDSU Saddle and Sirloin. Um, yeah. 
Exactly. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me this morning and best of luck at Little Eye. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, everyone, stick around because coming up on today's show, we are showcasing a local artist. We'll be right back with that after the break.